All right, the following video is going to take you through the Garmin Connect software on your phone. So you can see I just opened up Garmin Connect. I'm on an iPhone, and it doesn't really matter if you're using iPhone or Android. Um, right away, what I see is I see something called My Day. This gives me my resting heart rate. Why it's saying 103, I have no idea. That's not correct. It's more like 50, 48. Um, it has my steps, my intensity minutes that I've worked out for the week, my floors that I've climbed today, my stress, my calories, and my sleep. I can click on any one of these to get more information. In the top right-hand corner, I can also click expand. What this does is it opens up a, you know, a more detailed view of each one of these. This is the method that I prefer. So I can see my heart rate, steps, intensity, minutes, floors, my stress, my calories, and my sleep. I can, and again, I can click on any one of these to see more detail. For example, I can click heart rate and it's going to go to my heart rate. I can click steps and it's going to show me my steps. I, you know, I can click any one of these like my stress and it'll show me my stress levels throughout the day. You know, my sleep, it'll show me my deep, it'll show me what time I fell asleep. Uh, my deep sleep, when I was awake, which are the pink lines. All right, and then I can click through and I can see yesterday, how everything was, and I can see my last seven days. All right, on the bottom of the screen, which I'm going to go through now, I have my day. I have challenges. These are any challenges that I'm entered in. You know, if I'm entered in a, a walking challenge or a bike challenge, I can also see my connections by clicking the connections to the top. My calendar, which is the next thing over, basically has my workouts. I can change what that shows. I have it just showing my activities, but you can set it to change whatever you would like. Your news feed which for me goes through all of my activities that I've done in the last few, you know, it just keeps going. But this is really like the last two weeks about, and it also goes through and can show me my steps. If I click more, this is where I can get more detailed into everything. I can see my activities and I can click one of these and see like my running activities. There's seven days, four weeks, 12 months. I can see my health stats, which again, I already showed you, like, you know, if I click on my sleep. So this is a, just a different way. This is showing me my sleep for the last seven days. But there are multiple ways to get through the same thing. I can look at my all day heart rate and look at my high and resting heart rate each day. My performance stats, which are things like my VO2 max, which it'll show. And if you click up here, you can see there's cycling versus running VO2 max. Lactate threshold. Training effect, which is like, you know, aerobic versus anaerobic. <clears throat> um, your FTP, which is for cycling. Your training status which tells you what your tra current training load is, if you're maintaining, what your VO2 max is, um, and your HRV stress, which I probably don't have anything really filled here. I probably do for four weeks. I've only done it one time. But if you record it with a heart rate strap, you can't see it. Now keep in mind, if you have a different device, you're not gonna see all of these. You know, I have the 935. If you have the Vivo Active or less, you're probably only seeing VO2 max here. Um, <clears throat> all right, I've got my workouts, which is where you, if you have planned workouts, you know, if I have a pull workout that I'm going to do that I've set up, I can do it here. If, if I'm running any courses or segments, it'll show up here. I have my gear, which shows me like my shoes or, you know, my bike or anything like that. Insights are just, you know, they give you some basic tips. Like, you know, it says I run farther than 30% of other users. I cycle faster than 99% of other, you know, so they, they go through and give you some tips. Connections shows you people you're connected with. You can also find your friends here.
any groups that you belong to. Live track allows it so that, like, let's say you want your spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, or one of your friends to be, or someone's watching you during a race, they can actually track you GPS through live track. Golf courses are for golfing. The IQ store is a place to get apps for your device. Not all devices allow you to do that. Devices allows you to see your device. You can also sync your devices here as well. And you have your settings, help, and activity, just an informational message on activity tracking accuracy. All right, I'm gonna go back to my day. And at the top of the screen here, here's my notifications. Here's my profile. Here's my device, and I can click on my devices, or I can just click the little sync, which syncs my device right now. You can see the little white line going through. And that's how you use the Garmin Connect app. It's a nice, basic, simple app, um, very easy to use, very straightforward. Um, I personally use the web interface. If you're not familiar, go to Garmin Connect and use the web interface because it is a lot more detailed. It has a lot more stuff than what you see here. But this is a good starting point for a lot of people. Sometimes I'll, you know, I'll see what my workout was in here, but I usually go in and an analyze it in Garmin Connect in the web. But this is what their app looks like, and it is nice. Thank you.